Hello, I'm interior designer Bill McIntosh, and welcome to 432 Park Avenue, home to some of the most rarefied real estate in New York City. Today I want to take you on a tour of a pied de terre that, despite its vertiginous altitude, is firmly grounded in a smart, sophisticated comfort. Come on, let's take a look. Stepping off the elevator, I wanted you to know right away that you were in for something special, and so immediately you noticed the luminous plaster ceiling overhead. The front door is a design of undulating wood ribs. The elevator vestibule opens up to this beautiful center hole. Here we set the tone with overscaled door casings, a coved ceiling, and these unexpected raked plaster walls. These reference traditional architectural elements, which introduce a smart and sophisticated dialogue to the design. And I love this monumental mirror. The scale of it is outrageous. These are all subtle, one-of-a-kind details that capture your attention and give you a hint of what's to come. But the gallery is just a prelude to this spectacular jaw-dropping living room. The building's 10 foot by 10 foot square windows guarantee that every room is flooded with light and has these knockout forever views. The hand-tufted woolen silk carpet is an abstracted map of the city and defines the seating area. From here, you can settle into the stylish curved sofa that floats above the floor, or maybe one of the alpaca-covered swivel chairs. And for those of you who need to get really close to the view, I installed mohair-covered window seats right up against the glass. Other special touches include the illuminated onyx bar top and the underlit steps, and the result is a smart and stylish contemporary sky lounge. It's five o'clock somewhere. The dining table is designed to be as comfortable for four as it is for 14. The tables can be separated for smaller, more intimate dinners or joined together for larger parties. The table is a ceruzed oak trimmed in brass. The chairs are a custom design covered in glove soft leather. And the concave mirror above the banquette ensures that everybody gets a view. I always like a library to be tailored and masculine, and nothing does that better than wood paneled walls. Typically, you might expect a paneled library to be dark and moody, but given the amount of natural light that floods the space, it was a better choice to go with a pale coloration to minimize the contrast with the outdoors. To give the walls a bit more dimension and interest, we detailed them with this sexy little curve and reveal. I paired the wood walls with a gleaming, glossy, lacquered ceiling overhead and an earthy woolen silk carpet underfoot. All the textiles were chosen for comfort and style. The wild ombre dyed velvet on this vintage Italian chair is a personal favorite of mine. The leather covered desk suspended within the window reveal is a nice place to get a little work done. Although you might find the view a little bit distracting. But the views don't end here. Let me take you to the master. I have to believe that every day starts off a little bit better with a view like this. You feel like you're sleeping in the clouds. To be honest, you are. Thank you for letting me show you how we brought this sky-high apartment back down to earth by using elegant neutral coloration and rich comforting textures. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. How about love? Share these homes, you know?